This is the fifth largest city in North America with the tallest building in the world, the CN Tower. And here's something else that might surprise you. Toronto is located at the same latitude as Northern California, although you still might want to visit here during the summer. One third of Canada's population is located within a 160 kilometer radius of Toronto. Residents of this livable city have migrated here from around the world, and that mix is what makes Toronto such a vibrant place to visit. There are over 100 languages and dialects spoken in the city, and that includes a tasty Greek town. It's a place to be. It's fun. It's, it's safe. It's clean. You come to the Danforth, you get excellent food. It's fresh. It's just, you know, it's Greek and it's fun. And one for the government. And, and one for Bose? Yeah. There you go, one for Bose. Very good. Best mustard sauce that uh, you find in Toronto. Best mustard sauce right here? Mm -hmm. They put uh, must mustard and lemon and uh, Greek I olive oil. Recipe, but I never managed. Oh my, this is wonderful. Hey. Mm. Oh my. Oh, is that tasty? That is wonderful. Toronto is a great city for a movable feast. You'll find sidewalk cafes like those in Greek Town and Little Italy sprinkled throughout this cosmopolitan town. There is no shortage of culture here as well. The annual Toronto International Film Festival brings in high-profile films and stars every year. And during the summer months, Toronto's lakefront is filled with people taking advantage of the beach and the bike paths. One of the must-sees while in Toronto is Ontario Place, 96 acres of attractions set on three man-made islands right downtown. We have everything from live children's entertainment, um, a, a water park, Toronto's only downtown water park called Silk City, rides and attractions. The world's first permanent IMAX theater is in our Cinesphere, and there are movies playing all day. Ontario Place caters to families and children and has a program called Guaranteed Weather. If it rains consecutively for two hours and you've purchased a Play All Day Pass, you can turn that Play All Day Pass in to a voucher to come back any other day in the season. Our viewers love convenience and Toronto has a convenient way for you to see the city. It's called the Toronto City Pass. You get to visit six Toronto attractions including art galleries, museums, the zoo, and what we're gonna see right now, the CN Tower, all for just 46 bucks. Approximately two million people visit the tower each year to take in the breathtaking view from the four lookout levels. You can see the beautiful Toronto skyline and also spot a running track on top of a nearby apartment building. The CN Tower is a must-see attraction when you're visiting Toronto. It's a great way to uh, overlook the city itself and see the neighborhoods, the lake, um, and then visit uh, from three different observation levels. The lookout level that we're standing on right now, uh, the Sky Pod, which is the highest of them all at 447 meters, and there's also the glass floor, the world-famous glass floor with a view straight down to the ground of over uh, 342 meters or 1,122 feet. Let's walk out here. Look at that. Straight right. down. So how many floors is that? It's about 113 stories that we're looking straight down. Whoa. Uh, that glass is special. It's about five different panels of glass fused together. Our viewers have a perfect base camp just an hour outside of the city at the Toronto West KOA. The campgrounds has 150 wooded sites, one-room camper cabins, a playground, swimming pool, and a helpful staff. We're 21 miles west of the city limits and we're called the Toronto West KOA for that reason. We cater to families that are coming to Toronto to visit the various attractions, Canada's Wonderland, the CN Tower and various other things. Uh, one of the things that we, we do here that's a little bit different than most campgrounds is we supply directions for people to get places uh, so they don't get lost and we actually see them back at the same evening. Guests can purchase tickets to all the major local attractions at the front desk. It's all set up for them. You've got a one-stop shop here exactly. with gourmet cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just bought this thing. Oh, really? So how's it been going? Yeah, a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun there. So we're enjoying ourselves, and uh, we're learning how the places to go. And well, it looks like you've got the system down. you got your laundry out here. That looks good. Got your laundry. Yeah. We ran out of clean clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily the KOA, they have uh, some nice washer machines. <laughs> Look at these salmon steaks you got going here. You know how to do it, right? Uh, that's right. Look at this. Up to, up to 15, 20 years. You've been RVing 15 years? Oh, yeah. How yeah. does this work? You got your, your satellite cord yeah, coming out here? You see, I got a little antenna there. Right? Yeah. And this goes around here. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then there's your antenna over there. Yeah. 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 
So you pick up all the channels then? Yeah, yeah. The, the normal channels that you get at home. Yeah, you got it on the road. You get it on the road too. Very nice, yeah. yeah. So you can catch our show then, RV Today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is nice. Yeah. You kick back, watch the Olympics while you're on the road? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beautiful picture too. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very good picture. Yeah. Yeah. The campgrounds also has a unique camper kitchen set up for guests to use. The camping kitchen is a place where um, people in tents or cabins can come and cook breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's just got a little stove and sink and everything in it. What is that? That caught our attention. That is, I would assume it's an RV, but it's a company called Rotel and actually people um, some people from Germany were in it. Um, it's just being left here. The driver had to go back to Germany, pick up more people. And the back is full of beds, bunk beds, just stacked on top of each other. And the front are seats. That thing is huge. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> How many people can that sleep? Ooh, I don't know, to be honest. I'd say maybe about 20. A bundle? Yeah, <laughs> quite a few. You can get downtown in about 40 minutes from the campgrounds to take in all the great activities Toronto has to offer. Maybe cap off the day with a sunset cruise on beautiful Lake Ontario. Just one of the many sites on a visit to Toronto, Canada.